Hello guys, wanted to let you know that yesterday I did get all of my pre-chemo uh, things done. Um, the first one, I kept saying EKG yesterday, but it was really an echocardiogram, not an EKG. Um, and for some reason I just thought that, I guess I thought they were one and the same, even though I knew that, or no, now that I know the procedure was actually echocardiogram, not EKG. Um, so I know echo is spelled like the echo you would get if you shouted in a cat in a cave or something. Um, and that's not spelled with a K, but I don't know. This dog is really acting up. So I got that, um, which was really cool. That So the echocardiogram is a sonogram of the heart. Do you guys see that? Because my dog is like really acting up. He wants to fight with his bath towel. So I'm just like, take the damn bath towel. Um, so yeah, echocardiogram was really cool. Sonogram of the heart. They did images from up here. They did images from somewhere around there. They did images also like at the, um, like right below the sternum, like right where it gets soft kind of. And she said that um, there you can like see the heart through the liver or something like that. Who would have knew? But so I got that done. Then I went and I got the clip placed in my tumor because the people that did the biopsy failed to leave a clip. Um, and that radiologist, so handsome. <laughs> it's crazy. If I ever wish that I met a man at a different place in time, yesterday, the guy that placed the clip, that was it. Um, so I told him about my experience with the biopsy and how I felt everything and it was so painful and dreadful of an experience for me. And this guy, he had to do an incision to get like the needle in there that held the clip. So he did that. And I even saw him on the screen. I saw him like push, 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 you know, trying to get, I guess, in the exact spot with the tumor. I guess they have to leave it like in the center of the tumor. So like I could actually see. And I also kind of like felt the pressure of the movement, you know, what he was doing. But I felt zero pain. No pain whatsoever. That was just uh, amazing. I loved it. Um, so that was that. And uh, by the end of the day, you know, doctor's office called me, said everything looks good. It's a go for chemo tomorrow at 8, which was this morning. So I've been there from 8, just got back home at 4.10. Well, excuse me. It ended at 4.10 p.m. So I was there all day. So even though I got there at 8, though, what happened was it took a few minutes for me to actually be seated back in the fusion room. But after I was seated, then they, uh, what happened? What did she do? Oh, she started a little saline drip, saline drip in the IV. Then the next thing she did, she gave me a steroid via IV. That began about 9.05, ended about 9.15. Then she gave me Benadryl in the IV. And that was from about 9.20 to about 9.30-ish. Um, actually, it was. let me give you a real time on that. Because I what I noted was that the steroid was kind of like exactly 10 minutes. But the Benadryl was from 9.18 to 9.32. Um, so that was, you know, over 10 minutes, like 14 minutes. Um, the Benadryl knocked me off my feet real quick and fast. It was like the bag wasn't even done. I'm just like, I feel really tired suddenly. And it was like, yeah, the Benadryl would do that to you. As soon as I started to doze off, here comes the pharmacist. Um, he just went over with me again, the drugs that I, were gonna, that I was going to be administered on the day. And um, any drugs that I'm currently taking. And, you know, there's no, like, any sort of adverse reactions between anything. Um, so he said I'd be cool with that. And um, allowed me to ask him some questions, which I didn't have any other than asking everyone, what can I do naturally? What can I do with my diet? What food should I be eating? You know, that could maybe, um, that could maybe help with any, I'm sorry, my dog's really acting up. I don't know what's up with him. Um, he's just biting on everything. Actually, Come on, get some camera time. I know that's what you want. Look, that's what he wants. His name is Benji. Benji Brixton. 
He's an adopted dog. And I've had him for about a week. Look at him try to bite my fingers. I don't know what is wrong with this dog today. He's usually so sweet. I guess because I was gone all day. Um, but anyways, he's a really sweet dog. He's a two-year-old Shih Tzu, which is a Shih Tzu and Poodle mix. He's, um, he's a really tiny dog. I got his hair cut when I first got him. He was so shaggy and... I swear he looked about at least four or five pounds bigger. But with the, with the haircut, we revealed the true skinny man from beneath. Um, but anyways, I'll talk all about Benji later. I love him. He's a sweetheart. Um, so yeah, I did those uh, two drugs first. I was sleepy with the Benadryl. Then at 9.33, I got in... Mm, 9.33, I got Amend, uh, which helps with nausea. Uh, let's see, also, let's see, what else did I get? Okay, then at 10.15, a drug that's an anti-emetic, a drug that is an anti-emetic called Aloxy. Um, then at 10.45, uh, till 11.45, Progetta. Then at 11.45, then 1.30, Herceptin. Uh, 138 to 245, docetoxyl. Uh, then 305 began the carboplatin. Um, and the carboplatin ended maybe around like 408, somewhere around there. Um, and uh, it was just a very long day. I never felt like any kind of way like throughout the day. And I honestly still don't other than being tired. But it's not really a fatigued feel. It's not like I'm lagging. It's I, So I think I don't contribute my tiredness to any of the drugs, effects. I contribute it to just being in that chair all damn day. Um, outside of going to the bathroom a few times, um, I was just in that chair all day. And so, you know, I think that's really where my tired is coming from. Um, before I left, they did, um, I opted to get the new last of the little box that they atti attached to your body. And it sh should inject me with um, new last of, they said, about 7 p.m. tomorrow. Um, and that just saves me from having to go back out to the office and getting a new last of injection. Which new last of helps um, the bone marrow produce more white blood cells because all of these unfortunately toxic drugs that have been pumped into my body are going to knock out my white blood cells and I need my immune system. We all need our damn immune system. So um, that's what new, that's what the new last deal will help do. Um, so, you know, it's just, it's a process. Um, and I went through it today and I honestly don't feel like it was too bad. I really do feel good with this whole regimen. Um, oh, I met a 30 year survivor today. She, unfortunately, her breast cancer has come back. She didn't tell me if it was still in a breast or if it had metastasized somewhere, but I'm guessing maybe it is in a breast. I don't know. Let me not lie. I don't know what her real position is, but she said that 30 years ago, so this woman is about 70 right now. She said 30 years ago, she had breast cancer. She went through like a, um, I guess it was maybe some sort of trial that the NIH had. She went with them and they solely just did a mastectomy. That's it. So for 30 years, she has been cancer free. Now all of a sudden it's popped back up. Um, and I just looked at her. I'm like, you know what? Hopefully I'm like you. Hopefully one day I can tell somebody I haven't had cancer in 30 plus years. Shoot, even 25 plus years. I haven't had cancer. That. That would just be beautiful. Um, and I I guess I never really gave it too much time to enter my mind that I, you know, that that it wouldn't be that way. I just, sometimes you take things for granted or sometimes you just feel super confident and the universe just, just, you know, just sways at your whim. So I don't really know which one I fall into. But I never really thought that, you know, I wouldn't be a quite a long time survivor. Um, supposedly, everything they're hitting me with is like 
sledgehammer to kill an ant, I feel as though. Sledgehammer to kill an ant um, type of stuff. So, you know, I'm going through this chemo now. I'm going through those receptor drugs. I'll be going through um, the estrogen, the hormone therapy. I'll be going through radiation after the surgery. This is like, you know what I'm saying? This is like multiple ways to like kill one thing. I don't know. It's like, it's like a stabbing, a shooting, a decapitation, a heart removal. I mean, like, how many other ways could you, like, kill something? It's like, and that's what gives me the thought, like, it has to be, like, dead forever and ever after all this stuff. But then you do see the stories of people that do all of this stuff, and it still comes back. And it's kind of like, I don't know. I don't know, y'all, but sorry, that's, ugh, I hate for bra straps to show. Okay, let's let's hide that with some beautiful hair. So unfortunately, I did say that my that next time y'all saw me, it was probably would probably be for the curling of the wig. This baby still might get curled, not might, it still will get curled. But I'm going to um I'm going to wait to like let it do a little a little more of what I don't want it to do before I manipulate it cuz right now it's doing what I want it to do. And it looks real cute. Um, I've been staying hydrated. I've been drinking water, water, water all day. And um, now, I don't know. My throat is a little hoarse. Not hoarse. It doesn't really feel hoarse. I probably just need to drink a water. It's dry, I guess. Um, feeling a little parched. <laughs> Anyways, guys. I'll keep you posted on how I feel in a couple more days. Thank you for watching. Please, if you're watching this, donate to my You Caring. My bills are piling up. My bills is up here, but I'm not quite there yet. I'm more down here. Bills, me. Donate to my You Caring, please. And if you can't donate, or even if you do donate, um, share my video. My mother made a very cute video when my mother and I made a very cute video for my donations page. Um, share the video, share the donations um, link. And, you know, and even if you can't do that, share. If you can't donate, if you can't share, uh, please send me some well wishes. Just shout them into the universe and I'll get them. Thank you. Thank you. My dog's still tripping. So you guys have a good day. Thanks for watching.